Oh man, it is so humid at the moment. It's warm and humid and there's no wind at the moment in Sweden. Uh, but... Oh. Uh, shut the fuck up, Brooke. Uh, I've actually fought this girl right here. Uh, on accident. Because when I started recording, I was gonna record yesterday. I accidentally stepped forward and then I just battled her. Uh, and then I was like, ah, you know what, I don't really feel like recording like anything. So I'm gonna try today, so... Uh, let's go into this guy. Oh fuck. I see... Oh, you're a bug catch or bug maniac. Oh, okay, he's gonna have all the three war madams. And... I mean, he's gonna throw in the... Oh no, okay. For some reason he didn't throw in the rock one. You know, the rock one is probably the only one that is not gonna get one shot. Because I think it has pretty good special defense, right? Or maybe not. But did it say super effective? It shouldn't be super effective. Uh, but... Oh wait, is it rock or is it ground? Ah, uh, maybe it's ground. And that's why it was still super effective. <coughs> oh god, custard berries. Custard berries are really good. Yeah, it means that you get like, I think, plus one priority. When they trigger, so the next attack after they trigger, you get plus one priority. So, that can be really good. Alright, a crocodile. Ah, you know what? I feel confident. I mean, maybe I should mega evolve. Let's just mega evolve. Boom. Because if I would have mega evolved, we would have one shot this crocodile. Okay, Arbok. Oh, it survived. Okay. That's cool. And a Kecleon. Which is probably going to survive. Yes, it took that very well. And it did not use Sucker Punch, so I assume she didn't have it. <sighs> you know what? We're gonna start off with Victor David. Victor David. Oh, hello. Okay, they're going to Mount Pyre. Oh, and there's a uh, Nurse Joy right there. Oh, hello. Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. Hello. Okay. So probably a way that. Probably Mount Pyre is a lot more difficult, maybe. So instead of having to go all the way back to, you know, a Lily Cove, you have that wandering healer. So that's a good thing. Senior and Junior, Caden Joy. I mean, I like that. Oh, Jesus. Swoobat and Slack King. Hmm. Why do I feel like Swoobat is going to use Skill Swap on Slacking? I have a feeling that is their strategy. I want to see if I'm correct. Oh, good crit, Victor. Yes. Oh god, is Victor gonna survive? No. Okay. I should have gone for, you know, the Brave Bird. Uh, but I got a double crit. Uh, hmm. Forgot to give you your Zen headbutt again. So 
So when we get to Lily Cove, I'm doing that. So jump kick and just dragon dance. Kasubat is going to loaf around. Yeah. And then next turn we want to destroy Swoop. Oh. So this Swoobat, she only had one Pokemon. Okay. I mean, the, your strategy is cool. I'll give you that. I like that strategy. Um, I recognize that because in the... God, what is it? The... Victory Road in the original games. I think it's slacking and a... Gardevoir trainer? Like, it's a double battle and they have that strategy. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was like a slacking Gardevoir. Man. I mean, I used to play this Emerald so much. So even though it's been... Jesus Christ, who knows how many, 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 many years since I last played the game. As I'm running around here, I'm like, oh, I remember that, I remember that. Uh, let's see. Brave Bird. Sure, let's double on Lucario. Holy shit, Victor David one shot him. Alright. I was not expecting that. Oh. Okay. He has Avalanche. Which is gonna knock out both of you. Yeah. Uh, Lazul might have survived if I didn't attack. That Swampert. Oh god. Alright, Sembo. Save the day. I say save the day, but... I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, hmm. I'm, I'm thinking Protect, because my mortar probably has Thunderbolt. Uh, but... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume it has Thunderbolt. I'm gonna Protect, because I don't know if Sembo is faster. I'm not sure. Ah, I use Flare Bits anyways, okay. Well, at least I know that. Oh, Electivire. God damn it! Yeah, this has this has Thunder Punch. So let us weather ball it. Oh yeah, that was a misplay. That I mean, how would I know? So it's fine. All right, Duplin, go. And I mean, I always have the Mega... Um, Pidgeot. Like, we have Brandon in the back to bail us out. So I'm not really that worried about losing this battle. Leaf Blade and Ice Punch. No, Liquidate. Togekiss. And they did not double up. Oh no, not, not Leaf Blade because it probably has Sap Zipper. And I think Bufflon in another is another weird Pokemon to me because I don't think it has Rockhead. I think it, I know it has Sap Zipper, but I think its other ability is like Reckless or something. Maybe. Even though it learns a bunch of you know recoil. Oh well, that's probably why it has Reckless. Yeah, now I'm thinking about it. It learns a bunch of very strong recoil coil moves. So we think, oh maybe Rockhead would be nice, but maybe it would be too OP to be so strong 
and have such strong recoil moves and then having an ability that just ignores recoil damage. Mm. Lazul, we're gonna start with you. Alright, actually, and that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna call and guard up. Because I don't know this. Okay, play rough. Okay. It's not what I was expecting, but. It's good that I caught and guarded up. Oh, he has roar. Okay. Uh, yeah, switch in Balalu. It's sour. It's like this sour cola gum drink. I had to put like three times more water than it says. Otherwise, it's too. S okay, wait. Why? Well, it doesn't matter if you have, you're gonna knock it out anyways. But now, when I think about it, Leaf Blade was probably the wrong move to use because isn't Luxray Electric Dark? I think. I'm not sure actually. It looks like an electric dark type, but it might just be pure electric. So I should have actually used um, Jump Kick to confirm. And the Linoon, that's probably... Okay, play rough. I was thinking this is a... Uh, body... What's that move called? That maxes out your... Attack, but you lose half your HP. God, it escapes my mind what it is. Well played to you too. Yeah, and now I started thinking about it now when I use Mega Evolution. Oh, wait. When it comes to the gimmicks, the Pokemon gimmicks, you know, like Z moves and Mega Evolution. Um, God, what was that? The newest one. Dynamax. Like to me, the best one or the most enjoyable one. Jesus Christ, they all have play rough. Uh, the most enjoyable one is probably uh, Mega Evolution. I think Mega Evolution is the best, and I don't know why they just can't go back with Mega Evolution being, you know, the gimmick. Why do they have to do all this new shit that isn't good? Like, I would say Z moves are fine, actually. Um, I think they're fine. But I drew, because, you know, it takes up an item slot. It's just a one time super strong attack that you use. That's fine. I don't like the newest Dynamax thing. Because, well, first of all, you can only use it in certain situations, which. I guess balances it out a little, but it's like a mega and Z moves for three turns, and it's kind of like 
I don't know, like to me, it, it just isn't enjoyable. Um, when I tried it out, I was like, eh, this is actually pretty boring. Uh, as a thing, and oh, Roar. And of course, Roared Lazul in. Oh yeah, Lazul has a uh, natural cure, right? Yes. Are we gonna use Roar again? Nope. Play rough. Um, let's go with the plane and liquidation. Uh, because the thing about Megas is that it makes Pokemon like Pidgeot or Beedrill or like these lower tier Pokemon, like they get like a form that might not make them like super overpowered, but it makes them better, you know? So it's something that's like really cool. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't a crit either. I thought Zing Zap always critted. If yes, that was wrong. Okay, the Manchapite. So I like that that a lot of these like fan these ROMs or like these mods for certain games and all that. Uh, ROM hacks and all that. I like that they are like kinda of, like sticking with mega evolutions. Because out of all the gimmicks, it's the best one. Damn, I should have turned the run feature off because I might have been able to get a double battle if I did so. Ah, that's not gonna do any damage. So let's see if we can finally get like a sweep with Lazul. Because I feel like I'm completely content with taking three Dark Pulses. So I really don't want to kill it with a Brave Bird. I want to be able to kill it with one Body Slam. Because I do think... I, oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> wasn't one Body Slam. Because I'm thinking, ah, at the end of it, I'm gonna end up with more HP than if I use Brave Bird. But I was incorrect. Oh god. Yeah, this 100% has play rough. Yeah. Jesus, all the trainers here have play rough. Poor Lazul. Okay, it's working up. Which is fine. Because we're gonna go for the body slam and hope that we paralyze him. If body slam did that much, would a Brave Bird kill? No, it wouldn't. Yeah, no. Lazul is... No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. So this is 85, this is 120, plus 50%, so that would be 180 damage. So it would be double, right? Yeah. You know, we're gonna go for it. Well, it was a crit, so it didn't matter. Step striker, I have so much defense, so I'm not worried. So, good job, Lazul. We finally did it. This is kind of like how I want this to work uh, with Lazul. And when Lazul learns Dragon Claw or like some good dragon move, then we, you know. I think we'll be able to do this. And you know what? I want to see uh, if we... What kind of abilities can... I don't remember if I've actually checked to see... If we use an ability pill... Okay. Nothing. Ability patch? Cloud 9. Okay, no. 
All right, so it's either Cloud9 or Natural Cure. And out of those, I would rather have Natural Cure. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter for Lazul. Um, Cloud9 might be better, uh, not only because we ran into now to this Ninetales, so obviously Cloud9 would probably be better, but it's kind of like Lazul is more of a Pokemon that isn't really taking advantage of the rain. Oh, well. Hmm. So I'm kind of like, what do I want? I guess I'm gonna wait and see after we are able to Mega Evolve Lazul to see what I want to do. Because if Mega Alteria get, becomes like a special attacker, then I might go into, you know, the special attacking route, which I know Lazul already had good already has good moves for. Uh, the only problem is that, you know, doesn't really have a good setup move. So it isn't really like a sweeper. It's more of a bruiser, I'd say. Flygon. Alright, well, we're gonna switch to Duplin. Oh god, Draco Meteor. Please, to Duplin survive. Oh, jeez, okay. Duplin took that very well. Um, Duplin can probably take another if we don't one shot it. Yeah. Because my assumption is still that. It is a dragon ground, right? They didn't make it like gra dragon. Oh god. Yachi bear, okay. That's an interesting bear to have. Or just a random Pidgeot. Oh yeah, it has liquidation. Not liquidation, it's the sun is up, so no reason to use liquidation. Uh, so I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe the move I should replace for my Zen Headbutt should actually, ble should actually be Home Claws. Like, do I need Home Claws anymore? I mean, yeah, sure, it's a good... Um, oh, it sharply boots a random stat, okay. Yeah, that could be fun. Um... What was I talking about? Yeah, because I don't really have that many unaccurate moves anymore. I have to be careful here because I know there's like a rival battle. Uh, I think it's outside of the mart, like the the big uh, department store, I think. Okay, so this is a contest talk. Oh, I can't save anymore. What the fuck? Why does it remove my ability to save? I mean, it is saved. I mean, it's right there. Do I just have to reapply? Yeah, okay. Sure. Alright, I mean... Maybe we should try some contest stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna do it in this video. It's probably gonna be like a... a a, uh, what's it called? Something... <sighs> By itself, like I'm gonna dedicate a video to it. But so far it does seem... That... Just judging by the text we have now, L Swellow and or Lazul, not, not Lazul, yeah, Victor David and Xembo are the ones to use. But one thing I want to try is this right here. 
Yeah. Oh. I don't have a Pokeball case. How do I get a Pokeball case? Do I get it from talking to one of you? Okay, yes. There we go. So we're gonna try and make some... Uh, you don't know. I'm gonna save that until the contest episode. So, I mean, it's good to know the contest stuff is still in this game. They didn't remove it. It's just... It's a late game thing. And that's completely fine. I think that's good. Uh, where they put it. Oh, okay, we can- alright, nice, we can change Pokeballs. Alright. Well, when I get a bunch of Pokeballs, maybe I'll start customizing at least the, this team. Kind of like what I want you guys to be in. Duplin I'm happy with. Brandon I'm happy with. Pretty much like Sembo, Balalu, Victor David. Maybe Lazul. Yeah, Lazul as well. I think the quick ball would be better for Victor David. We're gonna fight you, our rival. Because I really want to get into... The last thing I want to do in this episode is go into, you know... I want to do some shopping. So who do I want to start off with? You know what? We're gonna start off with Balalu. I think it was quite a long time since we last did that. Did I go to the Poké Center and heal? Because if I lose this... Uh, I don't remember. Um, Vika Volt. I'm not scared of Vika Volt since... I mean, we are, we're not weak to bug. Right? It's not super effective, yeah. So, yeah, good job, Balalu. You probably took out, like, the biggest threat. And then we can just throw in Sembo, the wall, Blaziken. Her mega Blaziken as well. Here comes Flare Blitz. Do no damage. And I will be using a Protect, just to see if she has Thunder Punch. She does, okay. That does make it a bit tougher. Um, hmm. I mean, Lazul is pretty much the only one I feel I could deal with. Um... But I do think sacrificing Balalu is probably the right move. Right here. Oh, Balalu. Sacrificing Sembo. Well, I probably should have sacrificed Balalu now, now when I think about it. Uh, but that's fine. Pretty much only want to get the water out. So we're gonna throw in Lazul. I'm gonna Cotton Guard up. Man, that did a lot of damage. And another, oh god, sword stance. Oh Jesus. Alright, we have to deal, we have to deal with this Blitzkrank. Well, you know what? We do have uh, Aqua Jet on the plane, so... The only thing Lazul really needs to do is deal a lot of damage to Blitzkrank. And we're fine. And you know what I'm going to do as well? You know what? I don't think it's gonna kill us. Yeah, like... Yeah, because we have plus 6 and he only has plus 4. I was gonna switch Lazul for Balalu in case, you know, like, hmm. She's probably going to use High Jump Kick again. So we can just switch out. Uh, I'm expecting an Ice Beam. And I think I want Lazul to take it. There we go. 
so that Balalu can come in and finish the job. Starmie should be one shot, yeah. Alright, a swallow. Hmm. I mean, my two tanks are down, so. Sorry, Balalu. And it's burnt now. Um, Victor David. Brave Bird. I'm gonna hope that you can take it out. Okay, good. Our Life Orb. And I feel like, ah, oh, Life Orb, at least it's stronger for the first attack, you know. It gives us that 30% bonus on our first attack. So I feel like it's worth it. Brave Bird was probably overkill, because I think Serena is fighting grass, so a wing attack would have been enough to knock it out, but... Yeah. And the disguise is down. And you know what, we're gonna let Brandon... We're also gonna use our one Mega Evolution. And if I really want to be make sure that I kill it, I should have used Toxic, but... Nah. I... I'm, what was called? Confident. Oh, well, well, it had a Lumberry anyways, so not using Toxic was good. That battle helped you become this strong, Andreas, didn't it? Eh. A little bit. And I will also say that, oh god. Was that Steven? He talked about his aggron. Um, I kind of like that the rival in this game isn't a gym trainer. You're not, you're not competing over who's gonna get, you know, the, mo the most gym badges, the quickest, and all that. For, for her, it's just like, you know what, I just want to fill out my Pokedex, like, I'm a researcher. And I like that. Um, I will say that, uh, let's see, we have a bunch of that, a bunch of that. Let's get some great balls and no Pokeballs. Okay, nice. So this is where all of the Pokeballs are. There's 20 Moon Balls. 20 Friend Balls. I'm gonna get 20 of everything. Oh yeah, also guys, if you wanna be in a specific Pokeball, just tell me. Like, we can do that. I mean, some of these I'm probably gonna have more than 20 of, because I can see that some of these, I mean... I already have a few off. Uh, okay, here's some TMs. Negates all damage. Yeah, this is Protect. Nice. This is... Prevent status abnormality with a mystical plot. Is this? Oh god, that uh, attack that's like three rings around you. Safeguard, maybe. Reflect. And Light Screen. And you have Fire Blast, Thunder, probably Blizzard, Focus Blast, this is, oh god, Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. Okay, this is for your secret base. You know, let's have a... This is a poster we made of Balalu when he was just a Wingo. Uh, 
And this is a doll that we made of Lazul. TM90, thank you. No idea what that is. I'm just gonna rest here. So that I remember. Not that I think it matters, since, I mean... I sometimes, you know, I don't spawn in these areas, but... Let's change our Pokeballs. Okay, wait, I'm gonna put them in order, like this see Balalu, I want to change. Victor, I want to change Lazul. Not the Plain, and not Brandon, okay. So I'm happy with the two at, at the back. So Balalu. Um, I think Dusk Ball fits you very well. You know, Ghost Grass Pokemon. Victor David. Uh, let's see. Either a quick ball, but they're also like a fast ball. Yeah, I think a fast ball. Since you're a very fast Pokemon. Then Lazul. You're in a quick ball. Um, I mean, a love ball would be cool. Especially for your Mega Evolution. A friend ball. Eh, doesn't really look that great when I think of like an Altaria. I mean, a Moon Ball would be nice. Dive Ball with the colors. I think Dive Ball actually, just judging by the colors. Yeah. I mean, a dive ball would probably fit. An example, actually, in a quick ball. Yellow, blue, and white. Eh. A net ball. Yeah, we're gonna put you in a net ball. Xembo. And I think that's fine. Or well, you know what? No, no, no. I'm, oh. No, I'm actually happy with Lazul's Pokeball. It's Xembo, so I want to switch. We're gonna use a Moon Ball. So let's see. Yeah, I think that looks fine. For you all. And. Yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna end this. Because I think the only thing we need to do now... Uh, is... Yeah, come on. Team Aqua, okay. What do you have to say? Can you show me a dragon Pokemon that looks like a cloud? Yes, I can. I do have Lazul. Uh, oh, okay. This is where you get Alteriite. Holy shit, okay. Hum. Okay, uh, wait. That changes what I was planning on doing. Um, I was gonna end the episode. But... Uh, I'm not gonna do that now. I'm actually gonna get into one fight just to see... How Lazul's... Oh. Okay, Steven. You already... Talked about your Pokemon. Alright, let, let's check. S 161, 117, 227, 170. Okay, yeah. A Shepet. Oh, well, you know what? Just to be 100% sure, I'm actually just gonna take a picture. Just quickly. If this is faster, then just 
There we go, boom. So I can just have it up here. Let's make it evolve. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, very fluffy. Uh, let's see. So, oh, okay, you have pixelate, so normal moves become fairy type. I mean, ah, actually, body slam is not that bad then. It's a fairy type attack. Yeah, so actually, this is probably some really good moves for you then. Huh. Uh, but I'm gonna see. Uh, it was. 161 became 190, so not that, that big of a boost, actually. Pretty weak boost. HP the same, defense went up to from 161 to 190. Kind of like attack. Speed went up a little. Special defense, sadly, the exact same. But special attack went up a ton. Huh. Okay. So we could make you into a special attacker, but uh, probably isn't that big of a deal, since I mean I don't really have investment in either. So it probably is that attack and special attack are the same. So that's pretty much the difference is they're just the same. Is it, wait, no, it can't be, because it was 117, right? I have to check. How was your special attack? Yeah, your special attack is only 117, normally. Uh, so probably... Okay, yeah. So if I had it neutral, it would probably be the same. Eh. I'm not going to... Uh, change up. I'm gonna stick to it. Lazul is gonna be a physical attacking setup sweeper. And also, I want to check TM90 is substitute. Okay. That's pretty cool. Giga Impact. So, if Lazul can learn, yeah, Lazul can learn Giga Impact. So, I mean. To get a super strong one time basically use fairy attack. It was focus blast. Oh wait. Brandon can learn focus blast, which is probably really 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 good because I mean for um because now Brandon would be able to hit steel types. Well, we we have fire, so. But also rock, ice. Well, we have fire for that as well. So I'm kind of like, hmm. What move would I want to get rid of? Maybe toxic in this case. Yeah, let's do that. Even though toxic is really good to just make sure that we kill something, but. I think we have Toxic on someone else, right? I think so. I was gonna double check. No, we don't. Okay. Hmm. Well, if I feel like we need Toxic, I can put it on someone. Everyone can learn Toxic. Uh, so yeah. And what I'm probably gonna do as well... Just gonna... Run around... The beach, picking sh things up. Hello, do you have anything to say? Okay, well, nice to know that you guys are actually trying to train some of your Pokemon. They're trying to train those Whalmer. I'm thinking like, oh god, I think I'm gonna let the A team rest. Uh, against Team Aqua next episode. So you know what, A-Team? I'm gonna let you guys rest for an episode. Probably an important episode as well. 
Uh, because let's use the not the B team, the the C team. I'm gonna get some action, which does mean that Lazul gonna have to wait a little bit for your mega evolution to truly shine, to truly shine in a proper battle. Gonna let the B team do some work. 